How ironic is Don's Maoism? Um, so it's one of those things where I had a point probably in 2007 or 2008 or so where I, I honestly came pretty close to completely believing. It. Like I came pretty close to being like, this is what I believe. This is an actual, it's like, I am this. This is what my, maybe not that exact word, but like pretty close to it. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, I was and, there too. Uh, I think. So the way that I look at it now more is that I understand like there's a certain set of arguments that are easily deployed against kind of more reformist kind of stuff that explains why they'll probably fail most of the time. Doesn't explain why Maoism is better re- usually. Just kind of explains why, mm. you know, yeah. it's not like doesn't mean that 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 outcome means that it's like because it's like there's two parts to it. There's like a skepticism and like a strategy of change and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't mean that the alternative policy uh, or like strategy or whatever is going to actually produce the outcome that you want because that would probably fail too. I always like people kind of say, well, the cultural revolution got the furthest or something like that kind of thing. And I always like think of it as almost like trying to jump off, a, like jump between cliffs or something like that. And it's like, you know, just because one got slightly further before falling down doesn't mean that it's, <laughs> it doesn't mean that that's the one that's going to get you over the cliff kind of thing. 